this is Snows Hill Manor in Gloucestershire, which is a uh, home by Charles Paget Wade, who was a bit of an eccentric. Who basically this manor house, which is fabulous in itself, it's got loads of different rooms and higgledy piggledy winding stairs and whatnot, goes all over the place. It's uh, packed full of his collection of junk, basically, but nicely crafted junk um, so you've got stuff from all over the world you've got samurai swords and um, armor and masks all sorts um, bicycles you name it clocks tools everything and uh, this is the the manor house which he filled with his collection He chose to live in here, which is called the priest's house, where he uh, where he, um, yeah, he had his uh, he had his uh, bedroom and bathroom down there, and here he had his kitchen and workshop where. So this whole place is actually religious icons, toys, everything fabulous that you can think of. Yeah, as long as it's well made and it's quirky or interesting, it works up. So there we go. So you used to live in that rather than a grand manor house place. His family would earn their money from plantations and St. Kitts, so he was a very wealthy man. They had uh, 12, 12 plantations at one point, and uh, so uh, he could fund his collecting kleptomania. Lovely part of the countryside, but why not? You know? If you've got a hobby. Why not go for it? And he certainly did. So I'd say it's a superb place. It's my third time I've been here. And every time you come, come, I come in, I see different things I never saw the first time. So, absolutely wonderful. Let's have a quick wander over here. Heaven, eh? And this bit more of Hiccup Man and the Priest House, where Charles Paget Wade lived. And these are the uh, the buildings he made, and the Duck's House. And uh, fabulous gardens and little ponds and old barn. And there's uh, 
whatever that is that he made. And uh, there's a wonderful dovecot there as well. And the uh, outbuilding there. But every room and every building has got a, a name. And so he called this one the Jolly Roger. So you've got rooms with Zenith and uh, Think of any off, off the top of my head. Door lintel. Lintel. Oh, door lintel. Oh, yeah, on the door lintel. So each room had a had a name. Yeah, on the door lintel. So a particular collection will go in a particular room in the Zenith room. All right, let's have a wander down here. And this is a shed full of uh, old garden farm vehicles. Of the garden, and it's uh, some astronomical clock that he made. It's a dove cot with actual doves in it, and I've never looked inside a dove cot up until now. I don't know if it's like this. Fragrant flowers, and this uh, this farm building over here, this farm building over here, it's got village models made by Charles Paget Wade himself, which made up his place called Wolf's Cove. Uh, And he uh, created the duck, right around the duck pond. He created all these these buildings, and he created Wolf's Cove, which uh, you can't really see very well because of the reflection. Uh, oh, fabulous! And there's Charles Paget Wade himself. There we go. That's Charles Paget Wade himself with his uh, models by the pond at Wolf's Cove, as you do when you're eccentric and you've got oodles and oodles of money and loads of free time. And you've got fringes on the doorways here. the garden in the sunshine. So there you go, that's Snow Silk Manor with the priest house and a lot of collections of eccentrics, eccentric oddities. Superb, well worth a visit. <laughs>